Okay, I just want to do a quick review of um, Frost River packs I uh, started using this year. Main reason I started using them, in all honesty, is uh, I used to use uh, Bill Ostrom's packs, some um, solid packs, amazing packs actually. He no longer makes packs. So um, I started shopping around, I go, what, what packs am I going to use? And I wanted a pack that would last me. You know, there's lots of packs out there, but I want a pack that would last me a lifetime. So I started using Frost River. The main reason I, I uh, started using them is I was at a show, uh, actually the um, what was it? The uh, Midwest Mountaineering Show. And I saw their booth there and I really liked them. I really liked the looks of them. Very traditional type pack, so it's, you know, it's not for everybody. Um, uh, I, I actually like that sort of thing. I like a tump. Um, I like a solid structure. Uh, yeah, anyway, all right. I'm laughing too much here today. You can tell it's uh, <laughs> the end of the season. It's one of my last trips, one of the family trips actually. We're, we're out on a, a good family weekend. I cast my line. This tri this uh, lake has brook trout, and uh, I'm trolling along. I go, I got a bite! I got a bite! Well, no, she's in the back pulling my line like this. Hmm. I was upset until I realized I taught her how to do that. <laughs> so I can't really say too much, right, Kyla? Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> All right, so. This here is the one I've used the most of. It's the kitchen pack. I have yet to use it for the kitchen. <laughs> but um, I think it's called the kitchen pack because it's got so many different compartments. It's got these side pockets that I actually do put my stove and stuff like that in. I find these amazing. And uh, a good solid um, volume in here. And why I haven't used it for the kitchen, to be quite honest, is that what I've done is I put food in the small barrel for a weekend trip, not a long, not a long trip, but for a weekend trip, and I'll put it in a pack, right? But it does not. The small barrel does not fit in the kitchen pack, so I use that for the tent and the sleeping bags and stuff like that. So what I use for the food is their portage pack, and the small barrel fits in perfectly. So yeah, um, that's what I do for that. And the other one I use, that's just one of my favorite, I think, just even for. Uh, solo weekend trip is the uh, timber cruiser and it's got the side compartments I put my water and other small things in here's a few things about it though so it's got brass uh, rivets holding it together I'm not sure if they're rivets they're not rivets what are they brass <laughs> they call? I know not know nothing about the construction of a pack I do know how to carry one though but they're not they're not um, uh, brass coated they're actually brass so they're gonna last leather straps Brass buckles, tump, really good tump. Okay, and the canvas is water resistant, not waterproof. So what I do is I put um, a waterproof liner inside the pack and put everything in there. And I would not go without using that. Okay, so make sure you put a liner in here. So what do I? Got here to show you also. I know. So I got the Timber Cruiser, the Portage Pack, and the uh, Kitchen Pack. Those three packs will last uh, for a weekend trip for uh, my daughter, my wife, myself, and the dog. Uh, if I was going solo, I'd go with the Portage Pack or maybe even the Timber Cruiser. I don't know about that. I might just go with the, <laughs> the Kitchen Pack. I freaking love this thing. It, it's good solid pack. The one thing about this thing, it's wide though. I mean, you're carrying this thing and like this huge wide load going into the woods um, through the portage but I like it because I think it's, not, it's just a theory of mine but I think the reason why it feels better on my back is that it's it's wide as opposed to up um, one thing about a, a, a pack that actually cinches really tight to your body which is really good feels comfortable and everything else but it's that huge load um, right against you whereas this thing if I got this with a tump on I've got the same amount of gear that I've always had, and it seems lighter. I can't explain it, to be quite honest, but the load seems lighter. I really like this. It's a sad thing that the uh, season's almost over. It's not, the season's almost over, but I'm still going to go out in late fall with the uh, canvas tent, and I'm going to go winter camping. Looking forward to that. But it's nice for us just to take a couple weekends before it starts getting really cold at night. And we're enjoying the great weekend on Robinson Donaldson Ronald Ronald <laughs>
I can never remember the name of this lake. Wrong lake. Little tiny secluded lake. It's a secret. Shh.